Hey everyone, I've got this um, satellite antenna that I'm going to install on the roof so I can use it with my SDR receivers. Um, now it's bloody hot out here today so I'm not going to do the actual install today because I'll just roast up there. But I'll, I'll do a bit of preparation stuff and um, show you what I'm doing and then hopefully get this installed first thing tomorrow before it gets too hot. Now I'm going to put it on these tiles here facing pretty much straight up but a little bit towards the equator just like all these um, dish antennas you see around the place. So that's what I'm going to do. So like the previous ones, I'm just going to bring it out of the wall here. So that's the uh, discount antenna and that's that um, satellite TV antenna that I, I just ran to the server. So I'll pop the next cable out here too. Okay, I'm back inside with the aircon, so I'll give you a closer look at this antenna. Okay, it's just a flat device. I'm not going to pull it apart. I've seen them pulled apart. It's just got a seal there. Um, I have no reason to pull this apart. So I'm just going to leave it uh, sealed. Um, it's just got the SMA connector at the bottom and it does need 5 volts, which can be given from the um, RTL SDR dongles. You can put five volts out here to power that. And on the back, it's just got this little um, nut here, which is the same thread as uh, the bottom of a camera. So same thread as that, whatever that is. And that's the same with this. Okay, so what I'm thinking of doing is using a bit of metal like I've got here sliding that up under the tile and screwing it to the truss in the roof from on top of the roof and then just have this screwed into the bottom one there and I'll just cut this uh, bolt down a bit so it's only as long as it has to be and I'll drill out those holes so that it can fit this bolt through them because that's a bit, uh, a bit too small all right so that's what I'll do I'll drill the bottom hole out on this bit of metal here so the bolt can go through it and also hacksaw the bolt right down so it's just as long as it has to be and use some washers to pack it up and uh, see how that goes. I'll do this over the bin to try and catch the filings. Right, so the idea is I'll just screw that into there and that'll sort of sit on the tiles really with the cable coming out the bottom and that'll slip under the tile and screw to the truss. Okay, so to see how far that actually went in there, I'll just hold it on the finger now. So it only went in about that much. So I'm going to cut that down to about there, and as I said, I'll pack it with a couple of uh, washers if I need to. So I'll just hack this up now. Just hack this up in the garage here with the old toothless hacksaw. Oh. Alright, so back in here. That's now shortened and goes in. Cool. So what I'll do is just put one of these washers on this side. And put that in. Should be tight. Cool. That works. Cool, there it is. So that's the antenna with its little bit of metal there. And then tomorrow morning, hopefully before it gets too hot, I'll lift up one of the tiles, slip that up there screw it to it and then run a cable down through the wall. Alright, so there's the antenna. Got my little piece of metal uh, screwed to the back there. So that'll just slip up under the tile and screw into the truss and that'll pretty much sit there. And then the cable will come out the bottom and I'll show you what I'm going to seal that cable with. Um, I'm even going to install this uh, tomorrow morning or maybe late this afternoon because the sun's on the other side of the house in the afternoon but it might still be a bit warm but we'll see. So anyway, that's ready to go. Alright, it's late in the afternoon and it's a lot cooler. Um, the roof's still a bit of light on it in the area that I'm going to be working on, but it's not as hot. So I'm just going to put the cable up there, at least do that part today. And first thing tomorrow I might do the internal stuff, or I might do it tonight, we'll see how we go. But for now I'm just going to lift a tile and feed the snake and the cable through into the roof. I've got the cable here in the backyard. It's 20 metres with an SMA connector on each end. I've just got the snake there that I'm going to tape it to and stick into the roof. It's longer than I needed, but a bit of loss never hurt anyone. Okay, so you can see we've had, I've ripped this apart before, that would be when I put the camera in. But um, I've got, you can't see it there, but there's a bit of a, the wood under here, which is where I'm going to screw this into. I had to get a longer piece of metal, because the other one was a bit short. So what I'm going to do is plan for this to sit about there, and just screw that in there. So I'll trim this off, at about there. That's too long again. Okay, piss that off. And what I'm going to do is just screw that down into the wood there and leave it sit like that. Another one. 
Okay, that's not going to go anywhere. All right, now I'm going to stick this uh, snake underneath the sarking there. I should be able to find it because there's a bloody big hole here. Uh, okay, where are you? Uh, into that. So I can, that can go anywhere for now. Actually, I'll do it right. Pass it up into the roof where it's going to go. Since I've got this big hole there, I might as well use it. cable started so I'll put this roughly back together and then just pull that cable through in the roof and then plug it in down here so it should be right to just put this back together let's check that can still be pulled yes it can Antenna's gonna sit just like that. All right, so I got the antenna mounted up uh, completely yesterday, um, but I haven't sealed the connector yet, so the weather would damage it. So I've got two sorts of tape here. I've got vulcanizing tape and denso tape, which is also known as dog shit on a roll, which I'll sh you'll see why in a minute. Um, so I'm gonna seal the connector so it makes it uh, a bit weatherproof. All right, the first tape I'm gonna put on is this vulcanizing tape, which looks like electrical tape, but it's not really. It's got this plastic stuff on here to stop it uh, touching itself. So when it um, goes around itself, it's kind of going to mold to the shape of things. So put that on there, sort of tightly to start with. Put that around. And what that'll do is it'll, it'll kind of end up being a big a piece of rubber gunk, basically. should provide a seal so you see it kind of sticks to itself there so that's that i have not done yet I've got this uh, denso tape and I'll show you why it's called dog shit on a roll it's horrible stuff to work with but it's fantastic at what it does in fact I fucking hate this stuff That's Denso tape. You see, it's dog shit on a roll. So what I'm going to do, apart from destroy a pair of scissors, ugh, it's just, it's just horrible. Grab some of that. And it's, it's just kind of like sticky, yucky kind of dog shit. <laughs> and that is going right up in there. Just like the last tape. So I'll put that around there. Makes a mess. This one you can really sort of do that and just fill in the gaps that might be there. And now that should be about it. That's my antenna mounted, connector sealed, so that's that. So that's the connector sealed, um, it's pretty good for a dodgy little uh, home antenna here, I think it'll go alright. That's the first time I've had to use Denso tape in about 25 years, and if I'm lucky it'll be another 25 years before I have to use it again. But anyway, it worked good back then, so hopefully it'll be still good now. The clouds are starting to roll in and the forecast storms for this afternoon and pretty much the whole week so I'm glad I got this done when I did. Alright so here's the cable out from the wall. I'm just going to run that up over the back and put it in one of the SDR receivers. It's still a mess back here but I've got the receiver that I'm going to use here. 
and I've already said it's EEPROM to say satellite so I know that's the one to use for that antenna. Okay on that server I'll have a look at um, what devices I've got on there. So I've got three devices and I set the serial number for that one to be satellite so it's not that one and I know it's device two. So if I look at that I see it's the one with serial number just called satellite so that's the one I need to serve. So I go RTL TCP device 2 and just the address of that and it's now going to serve it. So what I'll do here is start GQRX. Okay so I've got GQRX here but what I need to do is it's pointing to the server but I need to add bias equals 1. That enables the 5 volts up the um, coax to power the antenna. So I'll do that and start that. Actually before I start it I'll just show you again. I start the TCP server out there and then over here when I select that with BIOS 1 what you'll see if I stop that and scroll up you'll see somewhere here set BIOS T1 that means it's enabled that um, DC up the coax cable to power the amplifier All right, I've just adjusted my gain so looking around here I can see there's this stuff there um, I don't know what any of this is yet I haven't obviously looked because I've only just installed the thing but um, I can see the signals are coming in I know there's in Marsat and Iridium around there um, but you can definitely see data in there so I know it's working that was my main main aim for this setup today okay so that's the install done um, hopefully I'll be able to find something decode it listen to it look at it whatever if I do that I'll uh, let you know in a future video um, also the spectrum analyzer for those who have been wondering it is still being worked on except um, I got a bit stuck but I have some help now so hopefully I'll be able to make some more progress with that in the 3D spec -an. Anyway, that'll do for now. Till next time, take it easy.